the TriStar T100 9mm pistol. Let's check it out. There are budget guns, and then there are guns that are just exceptional for the price. And that's what I feel like the TriStar T100 is. Uh, of course, based on the legendary CZ design, uh, just a beautiful firearm. Very clean lines, very nice quality. We're going to take a look a little bit closer at it. But to me, it looks really more like the Baby Eagle or the Jericho, which, of course, is also inspired by CZ. So first thing we're going to do is make sure that the gun is unloaded. Now this is a double single action hammer fired pistol. So instead of the polymer frame with all the striker, the slide comes back, you charge your round, uh, you engage your safety. This not only is a regular grip safety, it's gonna keep your hammer from falling. It's also a hammer block in here, so it's gonna, or firing pin block. So it's gonna keep your firing pin protected. If you happen to drop the firearm on a hard surface or whatever, it's not gonna go off. And we have our slide release, which we're gonna bring back and we're gonna engage it. Right here, it's nice, good, ample slide release. The one thing is about this is you can actually hit it without changing your grip. Uh, with the standard CZ, it's a little smaller and a little bit closer to the frame, and you, you don't actually touch the slide release. So this is just a little bit of an advantage, and you can see that it is just a little bit longer. You can see the slide has a nice cut right here. It really gets it nice and thin on top. The serrations right on the top of the slide right here to keep glare down. The slide does come with the barrel bushing built into the slide, so that's going to help with accuracy. But one of the big things about accuracy are the internal slide rails. Where most of your polymer pistols and new pistols have just a couple of nice slide rails on either side, which have proven themselves, the difference with the CZ design, it is a slide rail all the way across. So it's going to give you smoother action and it's going to keep that slide and barrel lined up better and again it just will be better accuracy With the T100, I was using the HPR Black Ops. This is a frangible ammunition. It's really accurate. Um, I was pretty focused right here. Right here, I wasn't as focused, but it still uh, was a pretty good group. Uh, here, just one jagged hole until that last shot. So, excellent ammunition. Of course, this pistol shoots like a CZ. And the magazine release is ample. It's actually extended a little bit, but with your natural grip, I never had a tendency to touch it. I actually have to adjust my grip just a touch to hit it, which really I need to because I don't want to inadvertently uh, hit that slide release. It is ambidextrous where you can change it over to the other side, and uh, which makes it nice for lefties, but the safety is not. The barrel is 3.7 inches in length. Now, according to even the, tri the TriStar box, it says 3.9 inches. Uh, but I measured it and that was the length uh, it's 7.3 inches overall and the slide itself here is 1.03 inches so it's a really thin slide uh, it gets to 1.3 or about a one a third inch uh, with your controls right here which is typical but being up toward the front of the, or the top or the back of your firearm this is the area that goes in and out of your holster and this is where you're going to be pulling it so uh, you know the controls are just what they are you know this is one of the cocked and locked has the grip or frame safety right here uh, and you can carry it in the cocked and locked position uh, it does carry which is a little better than the compact cz 15 rounds in the magazine 
These are Metgar mags, which Metgar makes excellent mags. There's just no doubt they're marked Metgar. Uh, one of the things I thought was kind of funny, though, and I want to point this out right away, is here on the magazine, when I first got the pistol in, I thought they'd sent me the wrong one. It says 40 Smith & Wesson. <laughs> Turn it over, and it says 9mm. But it does feed the 9mm, and it feeds it well. Not one malfunction whatsoever. Uh, it is an aluminum frame with a steel slide. So it weighs about one pound, seven, just under eight ounces. Uh, with the magazine in, uh, one pound, ten ounces. So, you know, it's a really handy, compact, light firearm. Now, you'll notice that the hammer's back without a magazine. We'll disengage the safety. No magazine disconnect, which I love. You know, I understand their purpose, but for me, I don't need one, and I don't like it. Uh, the finish on this pistol is just excellent. This is the titanium. Now, it does come in a black, but it's a Cerakote titanium, and uh, very well finished. I love the bull nose right at the front and the full shroud. Now, one thing I really love about the T100 is the serrations right here. They're really aggressive, and that's really important because you see how small this frame or the slide is above the frame. It's really small, and that's because of the, the you know, riding it inside the rails. So that's really going to give you something to bite onto. Sometimes with CZ pistols, that can be hard to do. Uh, it is a smooth action. Of course, the hammer is somewhat skeletonized. It just has that CZ grip to it. I love the CZ grip with the beaver tail integrated into the back strap, and then it comes down with a hump. So it really allows your hand to get really close up. And then it has a really low bore axis. And of course, we can see the nice three dot sights. Uh, the sights really show up well, but what's really cool is that they are um, interchangeable. You can take these out and you can get aftermarket sights to put in them. The three dot sights on here really show up well, as you can see the back and that front sight. One of the big things about this pistol, though, is that um, a lot of people feel like they can buy this and then just start putting CZ parts in it. And that's not really the case the internal parts can be different. This is my compact CZ75. I did try to exchange a few parts just to try it out. Now, one of the things about this one, this is the PCR, it has the decocker on it, and uh, that may make a little bit of a difference, but I can't imagine a lot. Uh, so, you know, they're very comparable as far as weight, and in fact, they weigh the same, and the size. Uh, one of the things that I will mention about the TriStar is that it does come in a model that has more of the CZ standard CZ75 front nose right here. That right? comes in without the full shroud. Uh, of course, the CZ has one with the full shroud as well. Of course, the grips, they're just a plastic grip, and the texturing actually is pretty good, and then where your fingers ride, it's really smooth. So it gives you kind of a, the best of both worlds. Of course, we have serrations on the front, and we have serrations right here. They're not quite as long as they are on the CZ, on the front, though, they're actually wider than the CZ. And then the front serrations. But really, as far as silhouette goes, they're almost identical. And of course, it's, it's pretty much a CZ design. Now, one of the things about that is, and you'll say, well, they're copying the CZ design. Well, you know, and I've mentioned this a number of times. You guys know I'm a big CZ fan. Uh, one of the things about CZ is when they first, when they were a communist country, when Czech was, um, you know, they couldn't have a, an international patent because the Soviet bloc countries didn't want for firearms to get out into the, the whole world. And it was kind of proprietary for Soviet firearms. And so because of that, they had an internal secret patent. And then they are the most copied firearm design next to the 1911 in the world. The fit and the finish on the CZ is really smooth. It's really rounded and it's just a little more better refined. But to be honest with you, not a ton. Uh, but it, it is, some of the cuts here are just a little sharper, even though they're not sharp as far as to the touch. But compared to the CZ, they are rounded off. The hammer is one thing I noticed immediately because it does have more of a sharp edge, whereas the CZ does have a rounded off hammer. So, you know, there's just going to be a few features like that. But, of course, we're going to get into a little bit more of that a little bit later. Uh, but one of the big things, and to me, one thing that really makes this very appealing is that you can take a standard CZ75 magazine and it fits right in. Now, this is the full size, and so it's going to stick out just a little bit. But what's really funny is that this is a 16 plus 1 magazine, and we have the standard Canic magazine that's 15 plus 1. We're going to try a standard CZ75 magazine uh, in the T100. 
Uh, it fits, it rides into the magwell just fine, it even holds the slide stop back. But we're going to check see if it functions. And vice versa, we can take the TriStar magazine, put it right up into our CZ Compact. Uh, so that's a really big deal because, uh, you know, Metgar makes great mags and they do make them for the CZ. And so it really helps in price, which this is a CZ 75 magazine. Uh, it's got the blue follower, which actually is an anti-friction uh, magazine. And that's what TriStar includes with their magazines. From Midway, these magazines run about $23. You can get the standard CZ 75 magazines that are Metgar for $19, $19.99. Now this is, of course, a double single action pistol with an exposed hammer. And one of the things when you rack around in the slide, the hammer is gonna come to the rear position. Of course, you can pop your safety on and uh, that'll make it safe. You can carry it cocked and locked. Uh, now, one of the things you wanna do, if you wanna fire the pistol, disengage your safety, take your trigger, pull it, really nice, crisp trigger pull. In fact, I was getting about 4 pounds, 14 ounces consistently. Uh, around that, or sometimes it would move up to 4.15 or even to 5 pounds. But it is a really nice smooth trigger. You have some movement here. Nice little slick hit. Uh, you know, I think that you could polish this up a little bit to make it really slick. But out of the box, for the price you're paying for this, it's really a pretty good trigger system. Uh, now, for double action, it's a long and hard, but yet smooth trigger pull. I tested it on my scales, which gets up to 12 pounds, and it was over. But you can get Wolf spring kits will fit in these pistols. And if you want to do that, it really makes it nice. It really smooths that trigger system out. So we have a long, solid trigger pull. Now, as far as reset... right there so it's a little ways out and then you move it on out there's a little bit popping right there so you have that then you come back nice and smooth reset right about there and then on out now really the only time that you would ever fire this gun in double action is if you rack the slide and then decided to lower the hammer and you'd have to be careful, of course, lowering the hammer, and then it would be, um, you would shoot it double action. The good thing is, is with the hammer down, you can put the safety up. That is not typical for CZ, that is a difference. So now, you don't have a way to engage it. Release your safety, now, boom, you can use it. And what that'll do is it'll also give you the hammer block by lifting your safety up. And then, of course, subsequent rounds, we'll have the hammer back and have the lighter trigger pull. Now, one of the cool things about this pistol is it does accept CZ grips. Uh, so, you know, you can go from just the black plastic, which to me really mates well with the titanium finish. But you can go from this to this, and this really dresses up this pistol. I mean, the colors of the VZ grips, uh, you know, this is not the standard for the CZ75 Compact. These are VZ uh, G10 grips, excellent. But the great thing is there's a lot of different companies. Hoag's one of them, uh, of course, VZ and others. Uh, where you can take your standard compact CZ grips and place them on the TriStar T100. Uh, there are six different models made uh, by, by TriStar. You can go check it out. And it pretty much mimics a lot of the CZ line. I mean, your standard CZ75, they have one just like it. Uh, one of the things that you know I really like about the TriStar option is a lot of times when you can't find a CZ75, because they're in such high demand, that you have an alternative uh, to that if you really like the design or if you're like me and you love the CZ75 design already this just makes another excellent pistol to add uh, because I just love those kind of pistols I love the design it is more old school but yet it's hanging in there just like the 1911 I mean they're still as applicable today as they ever have been but now we're going to break down the pistol of course make sure the gun is unloaded right here are two witness marks you want to bring the slide back until they line up and I'll tell you bring your hammer back it'll make it a lot easier right here on the other side take a magazine especially at first and just push and that'll pop the slide release out 
and then you can just pull it right out. Then the slide comes right off. Here we have our recoil spring and guide rod and our barrel. And this completely field strips the gun. One thing you'll notice is the way the coil is. This is more of a Soviet style. In fact, in most of your AKs, you have this kind of uh, coil uh, for spring, recoil spring. Uh, it is a steel guide rod. This does, though, tend to make this a very soft shooting gun. In fact, it was very soft shooting at the range. Uh, the barrel itself, again, is 3.7 inches. Uh, it is a nice coat. I'm not sure. It looks like a really, a, almost like a nitride. It's really a nice uh, fine coat on it. The internals are definitely CZ-like, but they're not exact. And we'll get into that a little bit later when we do the comparison with CZ. But it does have a lot of the same type features. And the fit and finish on this pistol on the interior is excellent. Of course, reassembly, just place our barrel back in. Putting the recoil spring can be a little tricky. I found that going along the side first and letting it come through the end and then bringing it centered up. And then it goes into place right there. Go ahead and take your frame and your slide. And you can see the internal slide rails, how it fits inside the frame. Very, of course, the great CZ design, very legendary and very effective. We'll align our witness marks and then return our slide stop. One of the things I do want to mention about the slide stop is on the other side. On the CZ, it's really rounded off. It's a little bit squared off here and it can catch. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is take that and personally just round that off. Uh, and make it just a little bit nicer because really it, it, there's no need for it. So having that rounded off makes it a little nicer. You know, the thing is, the more machining that's done with the pistol, uh, just the more expense is going to have in it. And, you know, a lot of things are just, you know, aesthetic. And so, but I think overall, it, it, there's not really any sharp lines over it overall. I mean, it, it's a really a fine, smooth pistol. Uh, I think this could be cleaned up just a little bit. Maybe the hammer, which is a little bit sharp. It can be rounded off just a touch, and I think that this would make it a really a more of a refined pistol. And of course, we're going to double check to make sure that we've done everything correctly, and we have. I like that. Isn't that smooth? It is. It just when you shoot it, the the slide, just those internal rails, man. I tell you what, for a for a little import gun, they hit a home run with this one. That's a really nice shooting pistol. Yeah, even for a factory gun, the double action and single action isn't bad. They're not bad. No, I thought the same thing. Yeah, I like that. You ready? Pretty impressive. Even, even your sights settle down nicely, mm -hmm. shot after shot. Yeah. The ergonomics of this pistol definitely CZ inspired. In fact, it is really pretty much a direct copy. Uh, the parts interchangeable, as we've talked about, you know, the, it's just not quite there. But it's really everything else, the lines, the way it feels in your hand, the way it shoots, the internal slide rails, it's all there. Uh, you know, getting a really good ergonomic grip on this pistol makes this really a joy to shoot at the range. And again, with those internal slide rails, uh, you know, the accuracy's there and the smoothness in the recoil. Uh, you know, it rides on the all the whole rail system right here, so it's definitely going to be more stable uh, when it's coming back. The TriStar T100 shoots like a dream, just like standard CZ pistols. Uh, and this is obviously a CZ clone. It fits well in the hand, uh, it shoots well, and had zero malfunctions the whole time. I was using full metal jacket, jacketed hollow points, and frangible ammunition. Um, you know, it's just an excellent pistol. I'll tell you, for the money, it's going to be very difficult to beat. And, you know, it's made at the Canic factory, which that is an aerospace uh, military arms manufacturer there in Turkey. So that really says a lot about quality. Comes in a nice plastic box, close foam padding. One thing I really liked was the, uh, the band that was around the grip and the quality control uh, label right here. It's just a rubberized label. It just shows, you know, good quality. Uh, and that they care about their farms, the presentation. Of course, you know, your extra mag with a magazine loader. Really nice owner's manual. 
with detailed instruction, cleaning rod and bore brush, and the locking cable. And you guys all know where this goes. One of the real appealing things about the TriStar line is the price. Uh, the standard T100 retails for $459. Um, at Academy, they're running for $349. I mean, that is a fantastic deal for this kind of quality. Uh, the titanium usually runs about $20 more, and um, you know, you'll have to search to find that online. At Impact Guns, the blue was $359. So, you know, it's a really excellent pistol for the money. I mean, for around the $350 range, you're, it's going to be very difficult to beat the quality that goes into this gun. And two, with this being in a NATO-approved manufacturing facility, uh, it really has good quality. In fact, SO9000 standards for these pistols. Uh, so the tolerances are going to be excellent. ISO 9000 is just quality standard, but it sure does give you something to think about. I mean, it gives you a little bit more confidence uh, than you would in some guns that are just made in who knows where. So an excellent imported gun from Turkey. Of course, they're really making a lot of great firearms that have been coming over into the country. And um, I think with the uh, TriStar T100, you're going to find this an excellent CZ variant and just an excellent pistol on its own. The TriStar T100 9mm compact pistol, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. A really unique, beautiful, uh, well, just, okay. And what it's all about and um, just, okay. So we're gonna take a quick look. All right, let's just go back over. Obviously one of my neighbors is having some work done. Sounds like cement. And I felt like if they're making that kind of noise, I sure as heck can make a little noise myself. But boy, is it hot. 